The Belize Coast Guard has acquired two military-grade drones that can reach a maximum range of 110 miles. Today, the Ministry of National Defense and Border Security is demonstrating a new capability that is being added to its repertoire. We are venturing into the domain of unmanned air systems. This new capability empowers our Coast Guard with the cutting-edge technology required to conduct operations along our maritime border and beyond line of sight well into our exclusive economic zone. The Belize Coast Guard is authorized to make detentions in Belize's maritime spaces in instances where individuals are caught violating maritime regulations. The greatest challenge at sea is arguably illegal fishing. Individuals from neighboring countries often fish Belize's waters without authorization. This new aerial fleet will serve as a second fleet and complement our marine, our marine vessels, enhance our monitoring capabilities and operational effectiveness across the blue, Belize's blue space. This fleet will also assist in our enforcement of in our enforcement efforts of illegal fishing and drug trafficking and can contribute to the frequent search and rescue endeavors of our Coast Guards. This is very exciting. And do the normal and the boarding procedures. Attendees at today's launch ceremony on the Coast Guard compound were given a live demonstration of how the drones would work in a scenario where illicit activities are suspected at sea. In this situation, the drone was sent in to assess the suspected vessel before the Coast Guard swooped in. The drone boasts proven flight times of over 5 hours and can carry 11 pounds for 3 hours or 22 pounds for an hour. So, delivering a Coast Guard hat to the Prime Minister is considered light work. The Perimeter 8 will conduct aerial su su support operations for conservation efforts while simultaneously supporting the 22 other missions that the Coast Guard is chartered to conduct. The drone squadron will be charged with delivering intelligence, surveillance and target acquisition in support of the 1st and 2nd Fleet. Let me paint a picture for you. A pilot station that could be stationed here at the Coast Guard headquarters will be able to conduct surveillance operations from here to San Pedro Tong on Ambergis Key. A pilot station here will be able to conduct surveillance all along the coast from this location to Commerce White Pier in Dangriga. A pilot station at our forward operating base at Hunting Key will easily be able to patrol the Corona Reef, and the entire Gulf of Honduras. A station out at our far operating base at Kalabashki will be able to easily patrol our three atolls in support of our maritime operations. According to Prime Minister John Bresenio, the benefits of these newly commissioned unmanned aerial assets are far-reaching. He spoke about the blue economy's role in poverty reduction, economic transformation, and environmental protection. Effective monitoring of Belize's blue spaces ensures the long-term sustainability of these objectives. In just over two years since the groundbreaking of the Belize Blue Bonds Initiative, we have made remarkable strides. We have committed ourselves to a vision of a healthy office um, ocean space where development is balanced between the needs of both nature and people. The Blue Bonds program is more than just a financial mechanism. It is a testament to our dedication to a nature-positive economy and a people-centric agenda. It is about ensuring that our marine and coastal resources continue to provide essential ecosystem services, protect us from the impacts of climate change, and secure the livelihoods of future generations. The launch of this drone squadron is not just to introduce new technology. It represents a shift in how we fulfill our commitments, particularly under, this, under the Blue Bond Initiative. This initiative
has placed upon us the responsibility to increase our presence in the maritime protected areas, enforcing conservation regulations to preserve the biological diversity and natural beauty of Belizean waters. With these drones, the Coast Guard will be able to patrol farther, faster, and will create, and with greater stealth. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.